Welcome back to another Subnautica Below Zero video, guys. Um, hi, I'm Vichicator. If you're new to the channel, you hit that subscribe button for more Subnautica content. And as you can see here, guys, here is um, some type of alien um, structure, it seems like, some type of precursor technology. And um, yeah, not exactly sure what it is. Let's go ahead and scan this. Um, Precursor bounty. Precursor scanned. Overall progress. 7%. Seven, 1 seven One fifteenth. Jeez, we have a lot to scan. Let's go ahead and p scan this ion cube too because I can't pick it up. Um, alrighty, so yeah. We'll find some ion cubes around here, which kind of makes sense because precursors use ion cubes to dispense like their gates and stuff. Um, it doesn't look like there's any interactions though I can make with this. Um, looks... Some type looks like some type of like big alien structure. I'm pretty sure that they did announce this in the Arctic Living update. They announced it as the Alien Sanctuary. Um, and yeah, it doesn't look like there's any like dispensing thing though that I can put my ion cube into. Though, because usually in the uh, first game, you could go up to like an alien gate and then that little dispenser thing would come up and you could place your ion cube in it. Um, those of you who played the first game should probably know what I'm talking about. And yeah, it doesn't look like there's any interactions with this. I definitely think it's a cool design though. Um, maybe this is like the charge up, some type of like precursor base. I know there is a precursor base somewhere in the Twisty Bridges down here. Um, basically that has this giant alien cube that transfers your mind. And um, maybe this is charging it. I have no idea to be honest. Um, hopefully they'll add this something with the storyline because they are changing it. By the way guys, I've heard of the next update. They're changing some of the dialogue and stuff. Um, I did not see any of these other um, precursor sanctuary looking things around here. Um, so I'm going to search over here real quick. Not seeing anything it doesn't look like. Um, but if it's something else though I will let you guys know. Um, but for right now. Um, wait, is that the same one? I came from over here. Let's see. Might be the same one. Let me go check. I think this is the same one. Okay, that was the same one. Never mind. Um, for a second I thought there was another one of these, but yeah. It's a pretty cool design. I really like it. In the, uh, announcement though for the Arctic Living Update, I really thought they were gonna make it look bigger. But I think that wraps it up for the Alien Sanctuary, guys. Um, one more thing I want to show you guys before you guys go is, I may be stupid, but in Subnautica, I don't think they had a lead outcrop. I'm pretty sure the only ones they had was the sandstone, the limestone, and then the shale outcrop. Um, so yeah, the lead one is definitely new. Um, it only has two minerals in it, which is basically lead, and uh, my inventory is full, um, so I can't pick that up. But I think it's lead and titanium. I'm going to go find another one and see if uh, it has anything different. But I'm pretty sure it was just lead and titanium check out this one yeah titanium right there I'll check out one more um aha there's one alrighty let's break this and yeah it just says lead so I'm pretty sure it's just lead and titanium guys um just wanted to put that out there because I hope I'm not being stupid right now but I'm pretty sure that it was just the shale the limestone then the uh sandstone so if I am being stupid right now guys please let me know down in the comments but I'm pretty sure that that is a new thing that they've added to the game there also is some table coral down here uh, but I think that sums it up for the video, guys. So if you enjoyed this, be sure to smash that like button. And um, if you have any comments on the Alien Sanctuary to the layout outcrop, be sure to leave it in the comments section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.